Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, we know this doesn't work. This has been one of those busy days. Maybe I just need the light on for business today. We know that Joe Flacco has been traded to Denver for a fourth-round pick. Uh, we know Earl Thomas has been teasing us Cowboy fans with basically taking a clip from NFL Network where they talk about him going to Dallas about him enjoying this process, getting us all worked up and excited. We've heard about Travis Frederick, who is on track to be ready for spring uh, workouts and things. And now, about an hour ago, Sean Lee confirmed that he is planning on coming back to the NFL and the Dallas Cowboys next year. After taking time to step back, to reflect on the situation, talk with his family, he's not ready to give it up just yet. Now, the question will be, is will the Dallas Cowboys keep him on the roster? And when we start talking about, you know, having to pay Dak Prescott, Demarcus Lawrence, Byron Jones, and things like that, where I've been trying to tell you guys, understand that we've got $45 million right now before we do anything, before we cut anybody or decide which players are going to be let go, such as Sean Lee, we have $45 million. Now, Sean Lee's contract is around $11 million cap hit next year. If the Cowboys cut Sean Lee, let, let me see if I have actually the numbers here. Um, this is where I always like to get my numbers and stuff together. Sean Lee, if the Dallas Cowboys cut him, just let him walk and say, thanks, we appreciate it, um, they'll save $7 million. So our $45 million goes now to $52 million. Um, we're leaving $3 million in dead money. But this is where you go through and say, well, if I just let them walk, it's going to cost me $3 million. So maybe what you end up doing is, since it's going to cost you $3 million not to have them on the team, you go ahead and say, Sean, we love you, man. You've been here forever. We hate to see you go elsewhere. Let's redo this deal. That works for both of us. Keeps you here with the Cowboys. You don't have to go ahead and uh, uproot everybody and everything else. And we have one last go round at trying to get you a ring. Because the money we save with you, we can sign some of our other key players. Or we can go out in the free agent market because you grab, let's say you, you make a deal with him that's $4 million in straight, you know, instead of light laden. It's only cost you a million more than what it was going to cost you anyway. And that gives you some cap relief, but also gives you a guy who you know helped mentor Jalen Smith as well as Van Der Esch. And understand that you use him more as a role player and things with that experience. But then gives you more cash to do a lot of things. I know a lot of people are going to say, Cut him, get rid of him. And I know Michael Anthony's not going to be happy about that one. Um, I talked to him about that, but see, right now, he's not doing the Dallas Cowboys until draft time. Right now, his focus is on the AF, I'm sorry, AAF. Don't let me say AFF. Let me get it straight. Um, and he's doing an incredible job with it. He's got his power rankings and everything out there, and he's got all the stuff out there. I dare say Michael Anthony Fitness is the man to go to when it comes to the AAF. But back to Sean Lee. Um, one of the things about Sean Lee, every time Sean Lee has been injured, the next year he has an incredible bounce back year. I remember when I met Sean Lee um, on crutches um, in 2014. And that was when he actually met Joe Boo and said, Joe Boo, I want you to keep me healthy, keep me on the field. And literally, this was right after he blew out his knee in the first play of OTAs, non-contact. It just went. Had that surgery. But then the next two years, he was an incredible player. Made his first and second Pro Bowl after those two years. So it's conceivable that, you know, having the short season that he had this year and having had time in this offseason that his body could come back to where it was before because clearly this year it wasn't there. And since it's going to cost you, <coughs> excuse me, to let him go, 
then maybe you reconsider restructuring the contract. I'm not saying bring him back at $11 million cap hit. You can't afford that. But if you can get a team-friendly deal that opens up the doors to bring in other players, that same thing that Colin Cowherd said about you know Dak Prescott yesterday, a team-friendly contract, then you do that. Otherwise, then you have to let him go. But either way, you're saving some money on Sean Lee. We'll have to wait and see what the Cowboys say and do on this. Um, hold on tight, guys. The way this day has been going, I might as well just stay right here in the seat. I'll see you soon.